what is up everybody welcome back to my channel today we are here at highland front nine for yet another highland putter review we have the logic today this is the cosmic stone and we have one in exo hard as well so we have sea line and exo hard it also comes in exo soft and lux vapor if you were to get the cosmic fury i believe which is kyle klein's signature putter um yeah as far as profile goes these, these are very similar um, to a Luna. If a Luna was a little bit flatter on this edge, instead of rounded over, very similar, flies very similar as far as I can figure out. So we're going to test them out today. Mostly throwing sea line. Um, this one I'm going to be using for putting purposes. It's currently on loan from another round Asheville. So huge shout out. Those guys are amazing. Definitely check them out when you have the time. Here at hole one, two, 16. Going to throw um, the sea line. Maybe a slight bit of Anheuser, let it ride to the bottom of the hill. A little bit more than a, than a touch of Anheuser, but looks like I'm going to have just a warm-up putt and not necessarily a, a have-to-make-it putt. Alright, right in the basket. Fun to start out with a birdie. I was showing them the profile. I compared them to the Luna, but actually, the uh, the Clashes popcorn has that same little flat spot. So it's probably a lot more like a popcorn and less like a Luna as far as shape is concerned. Um, very neutral putter from what I remember of throwing this one, and we're gonna play around with it today and see how well it shapes lines in the woods. Pull to 230. I'm just gonna throw it straightish and hope it fades a little bit left. Oh. oh well, looks like I turned it. Gonna be scrambling, maybe maybe be able to save a par. Oh, real long putt. It was the right shape, just not hard enough. Sorry, Nick. Didn't mean to hit that tree. A little floppy. A little wobbly putt, but try to get that spin a little bit more dialed in. I've been putting with the P2 so much. Not as comfortable with shallow putters now, so we'll see what happens. Par 3, 190. Backhand Annie. It seems to hold those lines really well, so I'm going to try to push that left wall and see if it'll hold it all the way around the corner. Oh my goodness. Um, logic, super neutral, holds exactly the line you throw it on. That was so good. A little bit of tree help to be absolutely parked, but it would have been probably right there. It's a pretty good shot. Hole four, 218. I'm gonna throw this almost flat, just a babiest Anheuser that I could possibly manage because I think it's going to hold that line and just drift left if I throw it on too much Anheuser it's just going to burn it over so just a baby Anheuser wow so it uh, turns out <laughs> logic actually forehands overstable that's, I'm, yeah, what? I kind of had to throw it through that. Have to actually commit to one. Was that a double bogey? I think definitely not a good score. I think it's a double. So we went from one under par to one over par. Yay! Hole five, 
this one's also 230. I just realized that two and five are both 230. Um, the drive from the last hole actually would be about perfect for this one, so I'm gonna throw it on forehand and see if it fades. It was so surprising. Okay, that was more what I expected. It held the exact hyzer angle that I put it on. It had a tiny bit of flip just because it's a putter and torque and whatever, but once it stabled out, it stayed on that exact same line that I put it on. That's what I expected to happen on the other hole, but the other hole, I threw it on Anheuser and it went right, so I don't know. Easy par. Moving on to hole six. Hole six, 260. I'm gonna have to really hit this flat and make sure I don't ante it. Cause this is a very long straight tunnel and I need this to go super neutral and super straight. And it's not gonna do that if I hit, throw it on any angle. I mean, I threw it on a baby hyzer and it baby hyzer right into a tree that hit a tree with both my hand and the disc ow whatever Seven is at 217. Just can throw one shot at it here. Yeah, it is very similar to the popcorn. A touch more stable, but just a touch more finish. It's not really more stable. Oh yeah, easy does it. As explained in other videos, I'm going backhand, and I'm not going to explain why. Oh boy, this now. That was almost perfect. Mm. Unprecedented amount of missing my throws. Not a bogey. Took a double bogey because you're too good at putting and you hit the band. Well, number nine, 203, up and to the right. We're gonna finish with a forehand with this anomaly of a putter. It's super neutral on a backhand, but then like has some sneaky stability on a forehand that you wouldn't be expecting. So let's see if we can play into that and park the basket. I didn't park it. There's a tree that was annoying. I hope it didn't roll away from that. Definitely though. rolled away. The tree that is guarding um, part of the basket from your vantage point is the tree that it hit the base of. And now we're down here. It's so... The logic is so extremely neutral. Which means it's a fantastic putter. Because when, you when you're putting, you want something that's going to do exactly what you impart into the disc for a lot of people. However, what that does also mean is that you have to be extremely consistent if you want consistent results. So, logic, great putter. Um, possible throwing putter to go in my back. We'll see what happens. I do I do lean very heavily on my beat up P2s though. Um, but yeah, Logic's great. See if we can make a, a putt to end it out with. <sighs> oh boy, that's a long putt. Ooh, nice. 
chance. At least we made a good putt to end off with. Um, Logic's fantastic putters. Oh boy, sorry about the vision, Brooke. Absolutely great. If you want this one, X out that I got from the Discmania mystery box this year. Six bucks, another round Asheville. Putts, absolutely amazing. Has so much glide, so straight. If you want some brand new ones, they've got some at another round Asheville as well. I think they might even still have some of the Cosmic Furies, the Lux Vapor Kyle Klein ones. But you enjoy content like this and you want to see more of it, make sure to subscribe. You get all that content as soon as it's released. You'll be entered into all the giveaways and make sure to comment down below what you want to see next. Until next time, guys, see you out on the course.